guys, welcome to Zekret 2 with me Zara, we'll bring you happiness! So in this video, I want to react to 10 things Pakistan does better than India. Wow, I'm so curious. Okay, let's get started to react. It's impossible to say which country is the best in the world. However, a case can be made for some countries just being better than others, at least in specific fields. These are 10 things Pakistan does better than India. Pakistani combat doctrine is a complex subject that would require more than just a single video to investigate. Generally, Pakistani military command relies on a doctrine known as the quote-unquote offensive-defensive doctrine. The following is the general precept of this Pakistani doctrine. Number one, Pakistan is vulnerable to Indian aggression because the majority of its population centers lie very close to Pakistan's border with India. Number two, India has invested heavily in its offensive capabilities in recent years. Counterattacks against Indian forces conducting offensive operations within Pakistani territory would likely prove devastating thanks to India's superior manpower reserves. And number three, in the opening hours of a war with India, Pakistani and Indian forces would likely be evenly matched during the first 24 hours of conflict because Pakistani units have a shorter distance to traverse before reaching their fighting positions. With this in mind, the offensive-defensive doctrine calls for Pakistan to not wait for an Indian offensive, rather for Pakistan to launch an immediate offensive of its own with the goal of large thrusts into Indian territory along narrow fronts. This is because Pakistani military leaders estimate that the Indian army could not reach maximum strength until over 72 hours of fighting had elapsed. If this doctrine were to succeed, Pakistan could find itself with sizable territorial gains before the international community could intervene in any ceasefire negotiations. Accomplishing these objectives is a difficult proposition, but that brings us to the first area of Pakistani superiority over India, main battle tanks. Pakistan not only has more main battle tanks than India, but also superior ones as well. Pakistan has 3,010 main battle tanks in its armed forces, while India, despite being a much larger and more populous nation, only has 2,874 main battle tanks. While it cannot be denied that India's army is larger, Pakistani military command has realized that warfare is not just about how many poorly trained recruits you can hand a rifle, but instead is about the coordination between modern armor and air power. The differences just don't end there, however. Pakistan's main battle tanks are also arguably superior to India's. Pakistan has access to Soviet-designed T-80U third-generation main battle tanks. But the mainstay of Pakistan's armored forces is the Al-Khalid main battle tank. The Al-Khalid main battle tank has modular composite armor and explosive reactive armor. This vehicle has also pressurized nuclear biological chemical defense systems, a thermal smoke generator, internal fire extinguisher, and explosive suppression systems. The infrared signature of the Al-Khalid main battle tank is even reduced by infrared reflective paint. As for the tank's offensive systems, it has an operational range of 500 kilometers, and it boasts a 125 millimeter main gun that can engage targets at over 7,000 meters. India, meanwhile, primarily relies on the outdated Soviet-designed second-generation T-72 main battle tank. The Indian T-72 main battle tank has only an operational range of 460 kilometers and lacks the composite armor of Pakistani tanks. The range at which India T-72 export models can exchange targets is also inferior to the Pakistani Al-Khalid model. So, when it comes to main battle tanks, the very basis of modern warfare, India lags far behind Pakistan. Pakistan is one of nine nations in the world that is trusted by the international community with the possession of nuclear weapons. This is a responsibility that Pakistan takes very seriously, and is also an area of Pakistani superiority over India. Pakistan has a nuclear arsenal of 120 nuclear warheads, all of which are capable of offensive deployment on a moment's notice. India, meanwhile, only has 110 nuclear warheads, many of which lack adequate delivery systems. Pakistan's nuclear delivery systems are state-of-the-art. Traditional Pakistani nuclear missiles have a range of 2,500 kilometers. Pakistani nuclear warheads 
can be deployed either by the Babur class cruise missile or their arsenal of medium range ballistic missiles. In the air, Pakistani fighter pilots have extensive training in the quote unquote toss bombing doctrine, which calls for elite pilots to perform complex air maneuvers while delivering a nuclear payload. The most impressive element of Pakistan's nuclear arsenal, however, is the state of the art Nasser tactical ballistic missile launcher. This missile platform is capable of carrying nuclear warheads and has been designed to overcome missile defense systems. The Nasser missile's in flight maneuverability systems are even designed to theoretically defeat the Israeli Iron Dome system. In the realm of nuclear weapons, Pakistan is no pushover. The Directorate General for Inter-Service Intelligence, abbreviated ISI, is the premier intelligence service of Pakistan. ISI is operationally responsible for providing critical national security and intelligence assessments to the government of Pakistan. In the late 20th century, the ISI's covert activities in support of the Afghan Mujahideen against the Soviet Union during the Soviet-Afghan War made the ISI internationally famous. During this war, the ISI worked in close coordination with the CIA. Thanks to the ISI's activities in Afghanistan, the Mujahideen defeated the most powerful military force in the world, the Soviet Union. In September 2015, the former research and analysis wing chief A.S. Dulat said, quote, The most powerful intelligence agency is either the KGB, which no longer exists, or ISI, because so little is known about them, end quote. It is even suspected that ISI successfully hid Osama bin Laden from the US government for more than a decade. The ISI is so powerful, in fact, that its critics say that it has become a state within a state and is more influential than the Pakistani government itself. Either way, in the realm of covert operations, India's accomplishments pale in comparison to Pakistan's. Both Pakistanis and Indians usually acknowledge their respective countries' problems when it comes to the treatment of women. In fact, both countries routinely have abysmal rankings on the United Nations indices relating to the treatment of women and gender inequality. However, if you ignore the massive and endemic issues in both countries, there are some areas where Pakistan is slightly better than India. Pakistan was given a rank of 0.536 on the UN's Gender Inequality Index which was a slightly better score than India's ranking of 0.563. Pakistan also has a slightly better maternal mortality ratio, which is the number of deaths for every 100,000 live births. Only 170 out of 100,000 births in Pakistan result in the death of the mother, while this number is 190 out of every 100,000 births in India. Another key statistic the UN takes into account is the percentage of seats held in a country's parliament by women. In this area, there are key differences. In Pakistan, women hold 19.7% of seats in parliament, while in India, women only hold 12.2%. Both countries have problems they need to address, but it cannot be denied that there are real differences between India and Pakistan in the aforementioned fields. Whether or not you view support for Palestine as a good thing really depends on which side of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict you sympathize with. In the case of supporting Palestine, however, Pakistan has been a far greater supporter of their struggle than India. Ever since the establishment of diplomatic relations between India and Israel, the two nations have cooperated in military and intelligence ventures. The fall of the Soviet Union only worked to pave the way for an Israeli-Indian strategic alliance that has persisted to this day. Since then, Indian support for Palestine has been lukewarm, although India still recognizes the legitimate aspirations of Palestine. India has given some aid to Palestine over the years, as India has no reason to have animosity towards Palestine. However, this pales in comparison to India's relationship with Israel. India is the largest buyer of Israeli military equipment, and Israel is the second largest defense supporter to India after Russia. Pakistan, meanwhile, has been more than resolute when it comes to supporting Palestine. Pakistan has stated that it fully supports the creation of an independent Palestinian state. Pakistan also provides millions of dollars of worth of edible and non-edible aid to the Palestinian authorities. More often than not, Pakistan has come to the aid of Palestine during its most desperate times of struggle. For example, the Pakistani Air Force participated in both the 1967 
and 1973 Arab-Israeli wars, with Pakistani pilots flying Jordanian and Syrian fighter jets, even downing some Israeli planes in the process. One would think India would have Pakistan beaten when it comes to large cities and population density. If you thought this, you would be mostly incorrect. Pakistan, in fact, has larger cities than India, which is very surprising to most people. Of the top five most populated cities in the world, the Pakistani city of Karachi comes in at number two, and by extension, the second most populated city in the world. Of these rankings, India doesn't even place in the top five. India's closest competitor is the city of Mumbai, coming in at a distant ninth place. Pakistan may not triumph over India in all manner of sports, but there are quite a few sports where Pakistan just is better. Pakistan is the best performing country of all time in the Field Hockey World Cup, with Pakistan claiming titles four times in years ranging from 1971 to 1994. The closest competitor to Pakistan in this field is the Netherlands with three wins. India, meanwhile, is only a distant fifth with just a single win in 1975. In British Open Squash, Pakistan has won 30 championships, more than any other country in the world. As for the World Open Squash Championships, Pakistan has won these 14 times, which is also more than any other country in the world. When it comes to these international sports, India has a lot of catching up to do with Pakistan. Pakistan utilizes more clean sources of energy than India. 29% of Pakistani energy comes from hydroelectric installations, and another 5.8% of Pakistani electricity comes from nuclear sources. Overall, nearly 40% of Pakistani energy is supplied from either clean or renewable sources. India, on the other hand, is a much different story. 60% of the energy required by India's massive population is supplied by coal power plants that have minimal safety and environmental standards. These coal plants have also led to birth defects and health problems for Indians who are exposed to the cloud smog created by these installations. The situation isn't all bad for India, however. 28% of India's electricity does come from clean and renewable energy sources, but this, of course, is far less on a relative basis than what Pakistan produces. Poverty is a serious problem for both India and Pakistan. However, Pakistan has come out ahead in recent years when it comes to poverty and providing for its poorest citizens. In 2011, the United Nations reported that India had much higher rates of poverty than Pakistan. The report concluded that 41.6% of India's population survived on less than a dollar a day, while only 22.6% of Pakistanis suffered from the same situation. India is a slightly richer and more developed nation. This has only come with wider income inequality than is present in Pakistan. Racism is a topic on everyone's mind these days, and without fail, proves to be a fierce realm of disagreement. However, when it comes to racism and tolerance, Pakistan's ratings will surprise you. In a 2013 Washington Post article examining data from the World Value Survey, only 5% of Pakistanis indicated they wouldn't want people of another race as their neighbors. India, on the other hand, surprisingly, came in the highest out of almost every country in the world, with over 40% of respondents indicating that they would not like to have neighbors of another race. Either way, this is an area where both countries could stand to improve, but it cannot be denied that there is a difference in this category between India and Pakistan. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Wow, guys, surprisingly, there are so many differences between Pakistan and India. There are so many better things between Pakistan and India. I think some countries have some better things than each other. So from this video, I can see the better things from Pakistan than India. So guys, the contrast thing in this video is about the rank of racism. I hate racism so much because racism is make us chaos and there is no peace in racism. Why people cannot live with peace and do not do the thing like racism? Why? I think every human have some differences. 
why we must do about racism all right guys thanks for watching my video but don't forget to like comment and also subscribe okay see you in the next video